<laughs> so, Corey, you say Joe was a good supervisor, but he was just being... Basically, it means records the data and you can edit and post design that way. Excuse me, I'm trying to get you to talk to me. Do you think he's manipulative or he was just... Who are you talking about? Joe, man. Joe Jenkins. I am not doing an interview about Joe. Thank you very much. No comment. <laughs> no comment. But you said he was an okay no. supervisor when I he did, took our no. breaks away. I did. I, why would I want to talk about that? Because, man, this is something I'm trying to share for myself. Seems pointless. How, how's, how's that pointless? Hey, what is the point in even discussing? He's not coming back. Because, you know, I feel like you're hiding information that people need to know about. What information would that be? It's about work, work economics, man. Work what? Work economics. Work, work hey, grab me a fork, we dude. <laughs> or a spoon, it don't matter. Probably a spoon, actually. Okay. How was Ruben like when he was an unloader? He was awesome. But I, I was told he had a temper with people. That might be some, some people's uh, opinion. How's that an opinion? Some people view it that way. Nah, that would be, that would I, see, I see differently though. Okay, that's also an opinion. What's the point? Well, last time I heard he tried to uh, body slam somebody. Well, who's that? That dude named Tony or something. Yeah. Who'd you hear from? You were back there that day, remember? Because I was there. Yeah, I don't remember that part. <laughs> but I do. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What happened? If you do, why are you asking me then? Because <laughs> I thought you would remember, that's all. I don't remember it happening that way. Uh, but I do. Okay. What happened? I think he said, shut up, your workness won't be tolerated or something. He said... Your sloth and laziness will not be tolerated. Yeah, that's what it was. That's what it was. <laughs> he said sloth. He brought out the one of the seven daily sins. Then he went to the man and, you know, and all heaven break loose. Blank. He couldn't believe he said that. <laughs> it was all hysterics and whatnot. So. I found it, I found it very enlightening. Hilarious. What do you think about, uh, let's see here. What do you think about uh, Lamar Randall? Like, uh, who's Lamar? That's you, that's, that's you. No, he's not here. Oh, he's I'm not just here. That's a, right. Okay, that's right. I'm the narrator of this well, interview. Lamar and Randall. Yeah. Uh, Depends well. on if he's holding his pocket. Lamar and Randall's the narrator of this video. <laughs> he is here. He's the one holding the camera. Nice try. Humbug. I think, uh, he, Back to the question. What do you think about Lamar Rell? No, he's an all right guy for the most part. In what, in what way? He needs to adjust some things. Adjust like what? Bankruptcy and his child support. Child, well, he can't really <laughs> control that. It's too late for that. But, uh, I know, learned, right? He learned his lesson from that. Could he apply. Did. You could have, He could apply he's himself a little, little bit. Out there. Probably find out he's uh, got another one or two. Had to as far as knowledge goes. goes. Oh, okay. Love a burrito. Mm. But I could cook better than you, though. Mm. Yes, I can. This is Timothy Phelps. That is a little phrase called actions speak louder than words. Has never cooked. You've had my food. And I've so had far, it. you've been blown away every time. I have yet to eat anything you've cooked. Okay, well, I cook at your house. 